Good evening, dear chess friends. Uh, today I try to record a game for um, which happened yesterday in the super bad classics uh, between uh, Mamidyarov and Aronian. But it was so ridiculously uh, boring that I couldn't um, like do it. Yeah, I tried several times and I don't understand how Aronian actually he spent like probably he forgot his analysis. He spent 10 minutes and uh, I think uh, Mamidyarov was under one hour and uh, there were like five or six moves which were drawish and Aronian played uh, some move which just a, a mistake and I couldn't understand why it's like not drawing anyway so chess sometimes is ridiculous um, and um, now uh, Karana is uh, in lost position against Mamidyarov in uh, endgame uh, game of the day probably and I'll show you the game between uh, Aronian and Grishuk I just decided to watch um, last um, uh, games of Roland Garros and uh, so this Czech player won and uh, <laughs> at that time Aronian finished his game against Grishuk so I decided to record this video okay let's go uh, d4 knight f6 c4 e6 knight f3 d5 knight c3 so uh, lately Grishuk switched from uh, this g6 openings to Queen's game, uh, Queen's games, yeah, with d5. Uh, he's a well known uh, Grunfeld specialist, but uh, recently Grunfeld is not doing that well. Also, uh, MVL is losing in Grunfeld today against Giri. So, this is uh, <laughs> basically a funny thing with Grunfeld, yeah, that there are some lines which are um, just not that good for black. C5. Um, um, this is a Tarash um, style uh, opening, um, a bit, um, I think, uh, hard to play when you're not that good as Grishuk. Uh, just so many things happen in the center, and um, there is, uh, you can, I think, you cannot learn anything, everything like by heart, but uh, sometimes. Um, uh, you have to understand chess better to play this kind of. So I don't recommend it if you play with black uh, Tarash. All right, it's not the bad opening. It's just very complicated. Takes uh, the main move here is a six. I had uh, some uh, tries with white uh, against this position. Uh, this a three a six is the main variation, but. Um, uh, didn't succeed I think too much takes a6 and the idea is to play b5 and put the bishop on the very nice position on b7 uh, castles b5 uh, bishop a2 and uh, um, bishop b7 it looks a bit like semi-slav defense I think in semi-slav knight normally is on d7 and uh, bishop is on e7 uh, and if it's played like I, i'd say that anand uh, has been playing this against uh, kramnik in the 2008 bone match d5 again standard for this type of posi positions uh, breakthrough in the center and in this uh, Position Grishuk started to think a lot of uh, spend a lot of time and Aronian didn't think a lot. Um, very natural move um, and uh, you see that Black hasn't developed this dark square bishop and uh, King hasn't castled and White norm just uh, naturally wants to open up the game. They can give a pawn uh, sometimes, yeah, but. Uh, to develop quicker takes knight takes and bishop to e7 well engine was uh, uh, saying that bishop to d6 is better move uh, because of this um, powerful idea to go with bishop to f4 and threaten c7 but it has been played still it's like uh, 
theory and uh, Aronian uh, plays e4. So this is the ancient move. Uh, giving up the pawn, yeah, but after this, bishop to f4, castles, and rook to e, uh, e1. Yeah, you see that all pieces are hanging, these are uh, squares are hanging, and uh, also this bishop is extremely strong, so white is winning. Grishuk saw it, he played uh, castles, and bishop f4. Um, again, white has excellent position, uh, engine-wise it is um, not that bad, but uh, if you take, for instance, here, then uh, pawn takes, and um, uh, this pawn uh, gives a lot of damage to black, yeah, it, it might move at some point to d6, and... Um, Later, uh, white will have this square on e5 and um, just uh, very unpleasant pressure. Uh, and also, you know, like they say in chess that uh, weak masters, they capture first. And uh, normally, if you want, um, you know, to win a tempo, you should um, like ask your opponent to capture on f6, for instance. Yeah, then will be one, two, three, tempi, and here, uh, and black will be like fully developed. But um, when it's on d5, Grishuk decided that he done, doesn't want to take. c4, it's an engine move. Um, this pressure from this bishop is unpleasant, and if you play bishop to b1, then um, your rook becomes kind of trapped, so you have to m spend more time to move it to c2 for instance rookie one uh defending the pawn on e4 and again uh, not ha not rushing with this knight to c7 yeah which will help black develop but um, creates some kind of domination in center um, also like ideas e5 e6 in the air so very good move rookie one and rook e8. This is a novelty by Grishuk. Um, not sure that um, everyone liked it. Before that, it was played rook to c8, uh, which is the engine move. Um, uh, what what I see, but Grishuk, um, I don't know. Um, that would uh, none of you would play ever because uh, rook e8 is just a fork to knight to c7. But he wants. Uh, so let's play this and uh, uh, knight c7 um, and engine suggests that the best move is knight to h5 so I mean Grishuk just gives up an exchange but probably he decided that he will have some kind of compensation which I don't really see for him but um, and uh, interestingly enough uh, uh, he didn't um, uh, just Aronian decided to leave queens on board. He played queen to d2. It's a kind of a small concession, but uh, he still wants to play with um, attack of the queen king side. Bishop c5 uh, now unleashing this rook and attacking the e4 pawn. And bishop to g5, uh, pinning the uh, knight. So it's a good move, but again, uh, that's why it was developed to e7 rather than to d6. It's because it protects the knight on um, f6. And again, I will return to my idea that uh, with uh, the semi-slav on d7, knight on, when knight is on d7, and then it protects the knight uh, on f6 and so you can avoid this uh, double pawns. So Grishuk went back. He was already in uh, huge uh, time trouble. And h4. So Aronian likes to say that in every position you can play h4. And it's a good move. Um, well, um, at some point he might uh, take the bishop uh, opponent's piece with pawn. Um, I would play something like uh, Morphe style rook to d1, but um, uh, 
engine doesn't really like this move, but it doesn't say that it's bad either. So h6, bishop f4, uh, returning to the idea with uh, knight to c7. Bishop c5, again, Grishuk uh, insists that he will have compensation. And, uh, yeah, and, um, uh, I don't know, um, you cannot actually, I think, play uh, knight uh, c7, yeah, because of the knight e4. So, uh, in this position, Aronian played uh, bishop to c7 and um, creates um, havoc in the black position. Queen c8 takes, takes, and um, queen f4. So notice, yeah, that with this uh, bishop on c7, he achieved that uh, this queen is no longer protecting the knight on f6. So he destroys this pawn structure, and even though engine suggests that black is fine, uh, quickly the position turned in Aronian's favor. Queen f4, king d4. Uh, 94, I'm sorry, takes, takes, and uh, rook to d1. Again, uh, you make this move uh, very quickly, just develop your piece and never worry about this kind of pawns. They will never affect the game because uh, the king is very open, and if you take, yeah, then it's rook e3 and it's curtains, yeah, check and mate in a couple of moves. So Grishuk went back. And the position also, um, the, the engine, um, yeah, the uh, engine changes his um, evaluations, but this position is like plus five for white. Uh, bishop f8, uh, just uh, when you have to defend, you have to bring your pieces back to your king. Uh, rook e3, bishop e7, pin in the, uh, the pawn. Uh, king h8 uh, looks totally hopeless. And notice that this bishop on c7 controls the d8 square. Yeah, so um, white, uh, black cannot like uh, untie himself from this. Um, uh, these pieces are basically idle. Yeah, they don't do anything. e4, very typical idea to open up the bishop and uh, use the mobility advantage. Queen e6. Uh, bishop f5, uh, winning a tempo on this uh, queen, queen e7, and rook to d7, uh, the best move. If queen c7, then it's rook to f7, and we see that all these pieces, uh, four major pieces, are, are attacking, and black has nothing. So Grishuk resigned. All right. Uh, um, Good job, uh, Levon, and uh, thank you, and see you next time.